Hello and welcome to this uh, Warmer 40k Kill Team Battle Report. In this mission we will be playing the Terror Tactic Match Play mission on this table. We will be playing Death Watch versus Adeptus Mechanicus. The meaning for this mission is quite simple actually. Um, one team will start on this side and the other team will start on this side of the table. And the whole idea is that every model you manage to move over the entire table and move off the other board edge and needs to be completely off that board edge is worth two victory points and he will play no further part in the game and on top of that every model you manage to kill is worth an additional kill point um, the game will last for four turns and then on a three up there will be turn five and on after turn five on a four up there will be a turn six and then the game will automatically end at the end of turn six anyway so Let's go to the army overview and then we can get started with this game. So for the Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, this Infiltrator Princeps is the leader and he is bringing a power weapon and a stop carbine. He is joined with a combat specialist Sigrun Infiltrator who also has a power sword and a stop carbine. And then there's the Zealot Infiltrator with a power weapon and a stop carbine. Then I brought this Skitari Ranger with a Sniper Specialist and he brought his Trench Uranic Arcus. Then these two Infiltrators are armed with Power Weapons and Stop Carbines. And as you can understand by now, this is payback time for Igor for bringing the five Infiltrators. And this guy got to come as well because, well, he has an Omni Specs and the Sniper kind of likes him for that. Otherwise, he didn't had to come at all onto the death watch so onto the death watch yeah. here's the this is the leader i suppose and i'll leave it to igor from here on because yeah. i don't know these guys well, it's the leader with the xenophage xenophage bleed and his combi plasma gun uh brought the heavy with his uh inferno uh, bolt heavy inferno bolt or uh, inferno heavy bolt Just like i don't know well, you know, the heavy bolt with the flamer. He's the big thing. But now, for the real man of the match, the frag cannon. Demolition frag cannon, I may add. Yeah, demolition specialist. Yes. Frag cannon, yeah. This is actually the guy we're going to ban from, from F no, today. No, he's going to ban He's two more of those. Actually, I could take two more of those. Um, the combat specialist here is a veteran, and the, uh, he brought his big hammer along. Where's your I always die, f die first black shield with his 3 up invulnerable safe? Well, he didn't come today, he's sick. So that's why we brought this in with the big stick. <laughs> he's, and he's sick from failing yeah. the 3 up invulnerable saves. And he got to come along because he had a shotgun. Yeah, so he basically is the one. You, you go, scout, uh, scout ahead, see, yes. what, see what's up there. <laughs> he's, he's the canary in the coal mine, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's for the team we're going to, going to deploy and then we'll uh, start the game. Yep. So we have deployed and the Death Watch are all here. Now one thing already obvious that the dude with the Thunder Hammer is as enthusiastic to go forward as the dude with the Black Shield always, the yeah. Black Shield always is. So, and the Ad Mac, they're all um, piled up here. So, um, on to initial roll for turn one. Yeah. You have three, and I have three as well, so that's re roll this. We use a d10 instead of 2d6 to avoid rolling a lot of uh, the same, but well, it happens. So, a nine, and you have five, so meaning I have the initiative. So at the beginning of the Adeptus Mechanicus movement phase, I'm going to start off with rolling for my uh, for my Canticles of the Omnissiah, because yeah. traditionally we're going to try and do that first instead of in like the shooting phase. Oh, well, yeah. Four, that's uh, Shroud Psalm, if I'm yeah, correct. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, it's a Shroud Psalm. Yeah. So, that's actually useful. Yeah. So, um, getting my two command points, and now I can, can get start uh, moving the dudes. So we'll be, uh, we'll be back after the Adeptus Mechanicus movement phase. So I'm not buying the within one inch I'm going to hit like your entire mob at once anymore. Mm. So I spread the guys out a bit. Um, so all the infiltrators spread around, um, went forward and spread over the table. Um, the one there advanced. 
the sniper, he ready, and the Omnispec moved up a bit as well, but he made sure the sniper still within 3 inch, so the sniper can benefit from the Omnispecs. On to Death Watch movement, turn 1. Okay. So for that um, Death Watch, the Inferno Heavy Bolter readied, the frag cannon moved up. Somebody advanced with a shotgun. shotgun, and the other dude just moved. Yes, he just moved. Or did he advance? No, no, no he, he just moved. He, he just and that thunder hammer dude is going to charge. Yeah, so yeah. make your charge uh, roll. Come on, buddy. Really seven, so uh, you're nope. not gonna make it. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna hang out there. Okay. Well then, disappoint me. So the shooting phase. I'm gonna start off with the sniper rifle, the Arquebus. He's gonna fire at him. He will be hitting on trees, and the Omnispecs will make sure he can ignore Obscure. No. He's gonna play the stratagem careful aim to get a plus one to hit, so he'll be hitting on twos, and he gets to reroll once to hit anyway. Yes. So, two up to hit. That's six. That's a six to hit. So a 6 to wound would be a mortal uh, wound, but uh, it's a 6 to hit. So now it's strength 7 against toughness 4. So wounding on trees. With a 4, mm. that's good enough. So he has a minus 2 armor save, which is a 5 up. Nope. Which you fail. For d3 damage. For 3. Meaning I get to make 3 damage rolls. And I flash wound him. 3 times or 1 time? Can I no, only once. Only once. I'm yeah. gonna check if I can re-roll this. Mm, give you one. So, yeah, yeah, I got three. Yeah, so I'm gonna command point re-roll. Um, yeah. One. Into a six, he's taken out. Only in death does to the end. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> so the the frag cannon is gonna do in death. Only in death does to the end, and he's gonna fire at this dude, yeah. and he does two d two d six auto hits, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, auto hits. Yeah. yeah. So no minuses. Nope. For five auto hits, that's strength six. Yes. So you'll be wounding him on two mm -hmm. because he's tough to three. That's three. What's the AP value when such? Minus one. Minus one, so that leaves him with five up armor saves. Yes. He fails all of them. <laughs> so you get to do one damage roll. Yes. There's one damage. One damage. Yeah. Come on, three. That's a flash wound. So. There we go. So next is the Infernus Inferno Heavy Bolter. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fire at the Transuranic Arquebus. He's just over half range, so minus one to hit. Forced to hit, three shots. There you go. You hit all of them. And now strength five, toughness three, that's three to wound. Yeah. There you go. You wound all of them. It's minus one. Yeah, minus one. Minus one, so you lose five ups. So all fail. One so you get to do one damage roll. And that's another flash wound. So we're gonna start off now with um, regular shooting with this guy. He's gonna fire at this guy, who is obscured, but within half range. So he'll be hitting on trees with a minus one for being um, uh, obscured. So that need I need force to hit one. And now I need force to wound strength four, toughness four. That's one, you get one normal armor save. And you make it. And then we move on to this dude. He couldn't see anything, right? He. He could fire at this guy. He's uh, just over half rage and obscured. So is he hitting on fires now? Yeah. That's nothing. They all fail. And the next one, this one, we're gonna fire at him as well. So we didn't have range and not obscured from his point of view. Nope. But it's a minus one for his flash wound. Yep. So he's also hitting on fours. But he makes two hits. And he'll be also wounding on four, strength four, toughness four. That's one. You get one arm save. Yay. And you make it. And then we have this guy left who can also shoot at him. But now he is obscured. Mm -hmm. We didn't have range. So force to hit again. For one hit, and that's also wounding on force, obviously, nope. which he doesn't do. And then we have this um, um, this gun, galvanic rifle. 
you can shoot back. Yeah, I can. One. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because <laughs> I only shot the first one that shot was him on him, so you could fire back at him. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, if you want to do it first, you no, can... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. It, it, it so I'll just, no, I'll just yeah. do this one. We didn't have range. Um, you are obscured. Yep. So, hitting on fours, two shots, got a rifle. Ooh, this one. One. Also, wounding on four, strength four. Yep. And he does that, so one more arm save. Ooh. But you fail, damage roll. He's taken out. No. So this mister here is going to repay him the favor. And he's going to use rim red shells, which make him hit automatically. Yes. Yes, D6 shots. Yes. Two. For two. And there's strength three, toughness three. So winning on fours. No. Boo. So no morale needed at the end of turn one. Uh, onwards to turn two. I'll start off with the canticles of the Omnissiah once again. For three. Now I get to reroll once for something. Shooting, I think. Yeah, I believe it was shooting. I'll look it up. Look Just it up. leave it here. And I'll already roll my initiative roll. Yeah. I have six. And you have five. So it's my initiative. So the canticle is reroll once to hit in the fight phase. And I'm going to do the add mech movement right now. So the movement phase, um, these two guys ready. These two advanced. He just moved up. These two charged him. Then in a response, he moved back here. And the Inferno Heavy Bolter moved back there to be able to see inside the building and see the two infiltrators right there. So the shooting phase, um, these two guys ready, but they have no targets left to shoot at. So they will forego them. That moves us on to this guy, and he's gonna fire at that guy. And we'll say you're obscure. Yeah. Or not? No, I don't know. No? No. It's, it's, it's far out. Okay, then he hits on trees. Yep. Two hits, mm -hmm. and he's wounding on force due to the strength four weapon. One, mm. one arm set. What you, you make? <laughs> so um, the Death Watch leader is going to fire at the infiltrated princeps. He's going to issue decapitation protocols to reroll all wound rolls. Yes. And he's gonna supercharge the plasma and he'll also fire the bolt around. So which color will be the plasma? Uh, the blue ones. So you'll be hitting on fours because of the minus one. Yes. And the blue blue ones have to be three or higher to be safer. Yeah, that's a reroll. One overheat. One reroll. Command point reroll for that one. Yay. And it's still an overheat. And that one's a hit. Strike four? Uh, yes. So you take one mortal wound yourself? Yes. Only one. The three was missed, you no, need a force to hit. Uh, that one then, right? Yeah, it was a regular bolt. Yeah. yeah. Six. That's uh, no minus. Mm -hmm. no. no, 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 it's just bolt. So a four up armor save, which he fails, he loses the wound. Okay. And you take a mortal wound, so you need to take a damage roll. Uh, well, a die, right? Yeah. Oh, a damage roll. Yeah. Damage roll, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Oh, oh, I can take it. Yeah, well, well, you can take it as well. That's a flesh wound. Yeah, that's a flesh wound. So the Inferno's Heavy Bolter, Inferno Heavy Bolter, Inferno? Mm. I think it's Inferno's actually. Oh, well, well, the Heavy Bolter yeah. is going to fire at uh, these two guys and the Flamer was going on the Flash Wounded one? Uh, no, no, on the other way around. The, oh, flamer's the, flamer, on the Flamer is going on the Flash Wounded, uh, on the, on yeah. the non, not Flash Wounded yes. one and the Bolter is going on the Flash Wounded Correct. one. Correct. So you're going to fire the Bolter first. Yeah. You don't get a penalty for moving fire because you're heavy, yeah, but, but you do get a penalty for firing both weapons. Yes. You're hitting on force. One. Only one hit. Strength five, so you'll be wounding on trees. Yeah. Four. That's a wound with a minus one, so that uh, leaves a five up six. That's which six. he makes. Cool. Now the flavor. Uh, These six uh, shots. Yep, five shots. Five hits. Five. That's also strength five, so wounding on trees. Which you do four wounds. Yeah, just, it was also a minus one. So it leaves uh, five of armor saves again. And that puts me down to zero, so I get 
It's one damage, so you do get to do one damage roll. And he's taken out. So that was the shooting phase. On to the combat phase. We have some combat here. And I'm going to issue the decisive strike. Yeah. So I get to strike first with both my uh, my models. Sure. Oh no, I don't need to because they're both charged. Yeah. And you don't have any command points to interrupt me. So I'll start with um, the, the first one, this one. It'll be two attacks, hitting on trees, wounding on fours. One hit, wounding on fours. And he does that, that's a minus three, so he should a six of arm save because it's a power weapon. Alright, that's a fail. Oh, that's a fail. Damage roll, that's a flash wound. And then the other one, also two attacks, hitting on trees. Oh, command point, reroll the, this one. Both hit, wounding on fours. That's one again with a minus three, so again a six up save. Hey. What you make? Hooray. We get a strike back. So now that that watch marine is gonna strike back on the on the back one. Two attacks, hitting on trees, but he's flash wounded, so hitting on fours. One hit, wounding on fours, strength four, toughness four. No. No wounds. So uh, on to the morale phase, which we I think don't have. Um, one, two, flash wounds. Oh, then you need to take a... Uh, two flash wounds, actually. So, yeah. a, a test. One sec, I'm going to check if it has... Uh, oh, yeah, well, just first take your test. Yep. That's a pass. Yeah. So, on to turn three. Um, let's start off once again with the canticles of the Omnissai. Which is a two this time around. It's litany of the Electromancer. Ooh. Roll a d6 for each enemy model within one inch of your models in your kill team. At the start of the fight phase on the six, it's a mortal wound. There you go. So let's put that one here. Um, I used one command point reroll previous turn. Yeah. yeah. So I'm now at three command points. And now let's roll for uh, initiative then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can go first. What's it? Nine. That's nice. I have three. You get to go first. Yeah. So. Deathwatch movement, he moved uh, back to his previous location. He's not going anywhere, obviously. No. And he's gonna attempt to charge, I assume him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you roll your charge distance first and then I'll overwatch. You're in. Mm -hmm. I'll roll for overwatch. Um, three shots. There's one. One hit. Strength four, toughness four. Mm -hmm. So, four up. No, nothing. So add back movement, the infiltrator there, he advanced and he moved off the table. Well, not that far, but he's off the table. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah he stood where he is since he's in combat. Um, and these two guys, the same thing. And these two, they both readied. And then on to the shooting phase. Yep. So the um, Vanguard, Ranger, Ranger. 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 the Ranger, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with the Ranger and the Argus. It's gonna get um, the benefit from the Omni Specs to fire at him here. Which means he doesn't get the penalty for being obscured. And because he's a sniper, he gets the plus one. Yes. And then he used careful. No, no he no. gets a reroll once and he used the careful aim strategy to get the plus one. Yes. So he'll be hitting on twos, rerolling one. That's a one. That's a one. Reroll. So he rerolls it into a two. So that's good enough. Because now he needs a tree to wound him because he's strength seven. Yeah. It's a two. Which he doesn't. So that kind of like sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, Shall I just command point reroll that one? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah, alright. Into a six. So that's a wound. That's a wound. With a minus two. Minus so you have a five up arm save. Ooh. That's a two. Would you fail for D3 damage? Two. For two. Meaning I get. Two damage rolls now. Death. Uh, yeah, he's taken out. Mm. So once again, he's going to in death does to the end. Well, uh, not once again, but he's going to use in death does to the end. Yep. And he's going to, I assume, fire back at the yes. Arctus. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Uh, minus one from the range. No, no, no. That's okay. that's not further than eighteen. Okay. I think. I think we imagined it. Oh, yeah, the previous one yeah. it was, yeah. So it's just over 18 because the arc was never exactly. Hit, so. exactly. Yeah. Uh, That's two hits anyway. Yep. 
Because you can move and fire with every weapon without yes. penalties. And strength, uh, strength 5. Yeah, that's one on trees. Three. 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 That's one. With a minus one? Yes. So that leaves uh, five up. Ooh. Which makes. Okay, well. So that leaves these two pistols to fire. So I'll start with the back one. Uh, they both have no penalties. They'll be hitting on trees. No. Yes. Uh, yes, three hits. Strength four, toughness four. Four, four up to, uh, to wound. Four one, mm -hmm. gives you a three of armor save. What you make? Yeah. Then the next one, also hitting on trees. Yep. And Two hits. And they're also wounding on fours. One, three up, armor save. Yeah. What you make? And that's, I think, the end of the shooting phase. The prince that wants to shoot? No, he can't. He's charged. Oh, yeah. You can only fire if you're not charged or a charger this round your, with your pistol. Otherwise, I would love to fire with it. Oh, yeah. Everyone else would shoot that weasel. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, combat. Yay. So the, that watch leader is going to attack with this casino morph blade. Um, three attacks, hitting on trees. Two. Two hits, strength four. So, wooding on trees. One. One. With a minus three, so that leaves a six up invulnerable save. So. But she fails, and if he would have made it, he had to reroll it anyway. Yeah, exactly. So that gives you a damage roll. Yeah. Because now it's down to zero wounds. Ooh. That's a flash wound. So the, this Dead Watch Marine is gonna hit the back infiltrator again. Yep. Two attacks. Yep. One skill. Mm. Hitting on trees. Wow. One. Yeah, and then wounding on trees as well. Yeah. Tough as three. What you do? No, yeah, no mines. So four arm safe. But she fails, that he's down to one wound. Yeah. So the just wounded guy is gonna repay him the favor. Two attacks hitting on trees. Two hits. And then wounding on four, strength four, toughness four. Mm -hmm. One with a minus three. Ugh. Come on, Emperor. No, you failed it. Boo. You were already flesh wounded? I, I was. Yeah, so I have a plus one in the damage roll. That's a two. So he takes another flesh wound. Yay. Now, let's continue with the other dude who is also standing there. The other um, infiltrator is going to mm. attack him now. Also hitting on trees. Nope. Command point reroll one. That's it. Wooding on a four. Nope. He doesn't. I'm out of command. Yep. That leaves the princeps. And he has three attacks. But he's at a minus one to hit due to his flesh wound. Uh, hitting on fours. Two hits. Strike four. Toughness four. Four up to wound. Two wounds. You have a minus three arm, three arm save, so again you have a six up arm save. Two, right? Two, yeah. That's like. Uh, Nothing. He's true. <laughs> so he didn't save it. <laughs> and now I get to do one damage roll. Yeah, uh, he's dead. Yeah, that's a five because he's already <laughs> flash wounded, so that's an extra, extra plus one on this one. Bye. So that brings us to the end of turn three. Um, let's see. One, two. Oh, he doesn't. Oh yeah, the flesh wound. I'll take, I'll take the one with the flesh wound back there. That the flesh wound still counts. Yeah. He's no active part in. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, so what? But we'll take him along for. So I have to take a morale check. You definitely have to take a morale check because four is taken out and one is. Uh, so that's um, one, two. Yeah. So I'm gonna check my leadership. Actually. So before this, um, the, the the Dead Watch team automatically is broken because everybody is either taken out or flesh wounded. Yep. That brings the end score for this game, doesn't matter. It's it. But it would be six to one. Yeah. Because I have he's worth two because you yep. went off the table. Kill four dudes. And four dudes. And you kill one dude. Yay. So that's it. Um let's discuss. Um Man of the Match. Uh, normally it's your frag cannon, but he can be at this time. He didn't do anything actually. No, no, you 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 hounded him pretty, pretty badly. Um, yeah, I I now know what he does <laughs> and I know how to treat him. So, um, stop getting two. Then I'll take a couple more of these guys. Sure. Uh, for me, yeah, of course. Him, he, 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 he took out both your heavy weapons. So this thing every game again proves to be 
very, very useful. It's very good with the on with the on the specs. It's basically uh, even has to has, has to yeah in combination with with the the, uh, uh, the precise specs. aim and the on the specs. Yeah, hitting on two, rolling ones. That's yeah. uh, pretty good. And on top of that, his strength seven minus two AP yeah. is good. On the other end, in this scenario, the movement eight characteristic for the for the infiltrators isn't really a bad thing to have. No, no, no. I move up the board so fast. Yeah. So um, that's why I knew that if you were going to shoot at me, whilst they were all packed up Clumped right here. Up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, but I knew with my speed, I can just spread them out and move them all everywhere into cover. And then I got uh, minus two when I'm in cover as well. So, so yeah, don't yeah. You, you, I, I kind of miscalculated the, the the range between the frag cannon and the, and the sniper. I, uh, I'm like, yeah, I can, I can, you know. Like and the sniper has a 60 inch range. Well, I mean, like the uh, line of sight, basically. Like I was, I was. Oh yeah, well, I, yeah, I could, I could, I could see him. Yeah, so. of course, of course. But like, I'm, 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 I was also kind of banking on his three plus armor save to save him. To be honest, like I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll pull through it. It's, it's, it's going to be a five plus five plus armor save, but you know. You know. I'm I'm not gonna say that I didn't roll lucky, because I did roll the three on the damage the yeah, three red right, damage so that gave me three damage rolls, which yeah. actually is pretty helpful. But that um, only in death does Judy and already has in in multiple games proven oh, yeah. very very useful for you. Yeah, that's one of those things that we like. That's why the frack kind of becomes a I wouldn't I wouldn't call him a throwaway, but like he. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, if if things are more clumped up, you, I, I'll, I'll, you know, because you, uh, you like, you, you, like you just said, like you, you, you kind of figured out the frag cannon, so you spread everything out. But like, uh, like as soon as something is clumped up, um, I, I, I won't hesitate. To throw just in there, just make the target. Yeah, go nuts, bananas. Yeah, but I'll usually, if it, if if your dude kills two guys, he's he, all of a sudden you can basically treat him as being expendable in this mission because he, oh, yeah. he paid back what he could earn by running off the table. Definitely, that's actually what he did as well. Oh yeah, definitely. If he would start running up the table, then he would have probably been able to take two points as well. But you would have annoyed me with those happy heavy weapons. Happy heavy weapons. Happy heavy. <laughs> so, um, I think he was most useless. The well, expect for the Omni specs, he didn't fire one shot. He did nothing. He just stood there all yeah. game long. Oh well, yeah, of course. Okay. You read it, you moved away. Yeah. You read it again, target dead. So, um, but the Omni specs is is his asset. So, yeah. um, as for the infiltrators, yeah, they're all just pretty much very good. Uh, their guns aren't that good, but. No. Um, yeah, the, you used the taser good in the previous game. The strength six, but I prefer the minus three AP value. It's very good. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then if I need to, then throw in a command point reroll. Yeah. I think we we can leave it at that for this one. Yeah, I don't have a mana match to be honest. Like the you did. Who 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 killed him in the end? Uh, Harry Bolton. Harry Bolton. Yeah. But he already was flash wounded from the frag cannon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it took both your. Yeah, exactly. It took both my heavies to not take him out, to, to barely take him out. Yeah, I think the, your, your mistake with the frag cannon was to move him up. Yeah. To move him up here. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I didn't want him to stay there and get yeah, charged, I, so I was like, I'll just, I'll just make him, make him a problem, to see if I can take something out in the, in the process. It's, it's. You, you could know, have also opted to have him like back there. Yeah. Or maybe somewhere here inside the building, just waiting for me to pass by and then jump him. Yeah. It's risky because it I can charge you, and yeah. but uh, and with the high movement, especially from the infiltrators, it's yeah. it's it's tricky to to counter it. But I think you could. Yeah, probably could. Or you know, just stand waiting here behind those two crates that are here. Yeah. Just wait there if you're gonna try and sit it out and shoot it out. Yeah. Because that's what you tried. You didn't try to run off the table because. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't punch a hole anywhere. So it's. Uh... You know, also, I think you had you had to be really compact. Yeah. Keep all five guys close together, and then move up the board as as one hole. And but then it's still waiting what I'm going to do because if I if you go up that side with five yeah, guys and I go point. with seven guys over this side, I'll <laughs> auto win anyway. Exactly. So um, you 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 also indeed needed to kill at least one or two of my guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. And uh, once again, the initiative wasn't in your favor. No, it's, it's barely in my favor nowadays. 
And we had one game today that what it wasn't your fault. You constantly outrolled me on it. Yeah. But yeah, well, uh, I think it's even though in this it's not as big a thing as in 40k to go actual 40k to go first. Yeah. The alpha strike can be pretty massive in normal 40k, and here you you don't have the volume of shots and, and such. So. So, I enjoyed this game. Oh yeah, it was fun. Uh, good, good, good. So, um, we'll be back next time then yeah, to yeah, record yeah. some more. Definitely. Okay. Then we're going to leave it at this. <laughs> we're going to leave it at this for today. Um, thanks for watching once again. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.